Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly Tuesday tutorial. And this week I'll be showing you how to switch from one view to another. Now just before I start, I'd just like to point out I have made this tutorial before but I was using a previous version of Xcode and some of you are getting confused when adding a new view while using the new Xcode 4. And although the tutorial does work, it's still some of you are getting a little confused. So I'm just going to be showing you how to do it in Xcode 4. Now already I have my project set up. I've simply named it Views and it's a view based application for the iPhone and it is the new Xcode 4. Now this is the part some of you are getting confused and adding a new view. And how you simply do it is, is control click on the views title at the top here then click on new file and so this is the part where you all get confused you need to add a UI view controller subclass press next and make sure it's a subclass of UI view controller some of you are just simply putting your view name here and this is where you're all getting confused make sure it has a nib so you can use the interface and this is where you name your new view so I'll name this second view and you press save and that's simply how you add a new view and if you notice it's just appeared up here so now to switch to it we simply go into our view controller.h and we add our IB action so to do that I'll zoom in to dash bracket capital IB action bracket and I'll name it switch view then we do colon bracket id bracket sender and end it with a semicolon we can simply save that I'll just zoom out now now in our view controller.m just after the import here we need to import our new view so to do that we do I'll just zoom in for you again we do hashtag import quotation mark and we named our new view second view so we type in second view dot h and then that we have another quotation mark and then just after the implementation let's press enter a few times so you got enough room and just type in dash bracket ib action bracket and we named our ib action switch view colon bracket id sender and then after that we do space curly bracket and press enter and now we do the coding to for it to switch views and we named our second view obviously second view second view space asterisk second space equals space bracket bracket and again second view space alloc and we do bracket and again space now in it with nib name in it with nib name and in the first highlighted section we simply type in nil and in the bundle again we type in nil and then we end it with a bracket and a semicolon now we press enter and do bracket self space present module view controller and in the first highlighted section we type in second and animated we want it yes and then we end that in a bracket in a semicolon and if you want to pause it and catch up on the coding and that's all that's needed to switch views so if we simply save that and I'll zoom out now we go to our view controller.nib where we add our round rec button and to bring up all our objects and utilities just press the square at the top of the grey shaded rectangle on the right and we add on our round rec button I'll just simply put it at the top there. Then we click on our files owner and then drag the switch view to our round rack button. Make it touch down or however you want it. Now, all we've done so far is code it to switch from the one view to the other. So if you want to switch back to the main view from the second view, just simply go into our second view controller.h and add in another IB action bracket capital IB action bracket and switch 
back, colon, bracket, ID sender, and then array semicolon, simply save that. And if you want to save time, just go back into your viewcontroller.m on the first view, and just copy the code in, and then go back to your viewcontroller.m. Now I'll zoom in for you now. But the first thing we want to do is import our view. So again, bracket, hashtag import, and in the highlight section of the two quotation marks, you simply type in views view controller, as that's the name of my project, and the first view. Simply save that. And then just after the implementation, we can paste in our coding. And we need to change the IB action from switch to switch back, as that is the name of our IB action. So we should be like that. And change the second view to our views view controller. And again here, views view controller. Let's zoom out a little bit. If you want to pause it and catch up on this bit here. But now I'll just zoom out all the way. Save that. And then if you go to our nib of the our second view and add in our round red button. But this time I put it at the bottom, so when we're switching views, you can simply see that it is not the same view. And then we drag our switch back to our round red button at the bottom. And again, touch down or however you want it. So you can simply save that. Go straight to build and run. And as usual, there is no problems with my tutorials. All the coding is perfect. So we just wait for the iPhone simulator to load. And as it's loading, I'd just like to point out that the full source code for this tutorial and all our other tutorials can be found on our website at geekelement.com. Also, there's a few sample projects, including a view-based application where it has three views and you're able to switch to each of them views. Just like the tutorial I'm showing you now, you can download that again at our website at geeklemon.com. But the uh, source code for this project, the link will be in the description. So just check that out once you finish this. So okay, then so we click on our first button, which will switch to our second view. And remember, our second view has a white background with the button at the bottom. There we go. And again, we can click it and it will switch us back to our first view. So I hope this helps you in your projects and tutorials. And I hope I have cleared up the little confusion with adding a new view. Make sure you send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or leave us any feedback. Also follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as the links to some of my apps which are currently on the App Store. And also the link to the source code for this project. Make sure you go check that out. But if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and thumbs up and favourite the video so you have a future reference. But that's it this week. I'll see you all next week in the next tutorial.